Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of San Isidro Labrador. We thank the Lord for the gift of our farmers, our fisher folks, and we offer this Mass as thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest that God has given us. And we continue to pray for our farmers, our fishermen, so that our Lord Jesus, through prayer, through their spiritual life, may continue to grant them abundant harvest for their families, for their lives, for their loved ones. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, 
Lord God, to whom belongs all creation and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us, inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and, with ardent spirit, spoke and taught accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon His holy throne. God is King of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the gods of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth he is supreme. God is king of all the earth. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Lord be with you. And with 
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, He will give you. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech, the hour is coming when I will no longer speak of you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord mm. Jesus Christ. Today we commemorate a uh, a great and uh, famous saint, especially here in our country. And I know many churches around the country are celebrating the feast of San Isidro Labrador. A simple man, a husband, and a worker of the land. He was a farmer, a labrador, a farmer, a worker of the land. And if we look at his life, we will see that being a farmer does not mean he was only busy the whole day working on the land. In fact, he spent more time in prayer. Kaya nagtataka yung mga kasama niya. Bakit kaya itong si San Isidro ay magsasaka, pero may oras pa ring magdasal. At mas marami pa nga ang oras na inilalaan niya sa pagdarasal. Gumigising siya ng mas maaga to devote time for prayer. And people were wondering, why can he still devote time for prayer and still finish his work? My dear brothers and sisters, the life of San Isidro Labrador teaches us that prayer and work are complementary. They are not opposite to each other. Many people would say, Oh, I'm, I am busy with work. I don't have time for prayer. I need to focus in work. I cannot pray. Marami po nagsasabi ng ganyan na, Naku, Father, busy ho sa trabaho. Wala na ho akong oras magdasal. Wala na ho akong oras magsimba. Kasi busy sa work. Busy sa trabaho, busy sa ginagawa. Para bang ang trabaho at ang pagdarasal ay magkalaban. At kapag wala ka ng, pagpuno ka na ng oras sa trabaho, wala ka ng oras sa pagdarasal. Pero nakita natin sa buhay ni San Isidro Labrador na hindi ito magkalaban na kapag may oras kang magtrabaho, ay wala ka ng oras magdasal. At kapag ikaw ay nagdarasal, na mauubos ang oras mo para sa trabaho, baliktad nga para kay San Isidro. 
kung kailan may oras siya para magdasal, ay lalong nagiging epektibo siya sa pagtatrabaho. The life of St. Isidore teaches us that prayer and work are not opposite to each other. They do not contradict each other. But in fact, like St. Isidore, if you have time for prayer, then you become more effective in your work. That is why his fellow workers, farmers, are wondering why can he still finish his work when he has time for prayer? This shows us that if you include prayer in your work, then your work becomes more fruitful and effective. And my dear brothers and sisters, this is the promise of Jesus in our gospel passage today. He said, Ask the Father in my name, and He will give you. Whatever you need, ask in prayer through my name, and the Father will give you. That is why, according to Jesus, that is why I came into this world, He said in our Gospel today, so that you will feel the love of the Father, so that whatever you ask in prayer, in my name, you will receive in this world. Through prayer, we go to our Lord Jesus Christ, as our mediator to the Father. The mediator between the Father and man is Jesus Christ. And whatever we ask in prayer, in the name of Jesus, the Father will grant us in this world. That is why Jesus came to this world, so that we could realize that the Father cares for us. The Father loves us. And whatever we ask the Father, the Father will provide. Ito po yung sinasabi sa Ebanghelyo natin sa pagdarasal. Sabi ni Jesus, ano man ang pangangailangan nyo, humingi kayo sa panalangin at hingin ninyo sa pangalan ko. Kaya sabi ni Jesus, kaya ako dumating sa mundong ito para maging tagapamagitan, a mediator, para kung ano man ang pangangailangan nyo sa mundong ito, magdasal kayo, hingin ninyo sa Ama sa pangalan ko, at ibibigay ito ng Ama. This is what Saint Isidore followed. He did not just give time to his labor, in his farm, but he also gave time for prayer. And when you devote time for prayer, in the name of Jesus, the Father will provide. If we pray in the name of Jesus, then our work will be more effective because the Father will provide. That is why also in our first reading today, we hear about Apollos. He was an eloquent speaker, a learned man, instructed an authority about the scriptures. He is an instructor of about the way of the Lord. He was an intelligent man. But see, when... Priscilla and Aquila, disciples of Jesus, heard him. They still saw or heard something lacking in Apollos. And so they instructed Apollos in the Word of God and in the Spirit. And then he was enlightened more. Even if he was already eloquent and intelligent, he still needed to be instructed in Jesus. 
prayer is important. You may be already an intelligent man, a learned man, but prayer and grace coming from Jesus is still important so that you will become more effective. St. Isidore tells us, include prayer in your work and your work will become more effective. <clears throat> Siguro po ay uh, magibigay po ako ng isang konkretong halimbawa nito pong mga nakaraang buwan ay uh, mayroon pong grupo ang mga pari, no? Parang meron kaming Viber group. At uh, ang nag-initiate nito ay uh, si Father Manoling Francisco, no? Isang Jesuita na kompositor. At uh, siguro po naalala niyo yung kanyang composition na Tanging Yaman, no? Sikat na sikat yung kanta na yan. And he also made a foundation, no? Tanging Yaman Foundation. At ito ay tumutulong sa ating mga farmers and fisher folks all around the country, lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. He is in contact with the farmers, with fishermen. At yung Viber group naming mga pare, doon niya sinasabi na, mayroon tayong order ng mga gulay no, from Benguet, kalimbawa, mga magsasaka doon. Kumuha tayo sa kanila nang sa gayon ay magbunga. Makatulong sa buhay nila yung ating orders. At kapag dating dito sa Maynila, nako yung mga pare, kanya-kanyang order na para sa kanilang mga parokya, sa community pantries, para maitulong naman sa mga nagugutom dito sa Maynila. Noong nakaraang linggo naman ay dumating naman ang napakaraming mga tuyo, no, mga isda, galing naman sa uh, Visayas area, nakatulong naman sa mga manging isda. So yung mga pare, kanya-kanyang order, no, 300 kilos ng tuyo dito sa amin para sa community pantries. Nakatulong na tayo sa mga magsasaka at mga manging isda, nakapagpakain pa tayo dito sa ating lungsod. Totoo nga na kapag ang panalangin ay tutumbasan ng paggawa at ang paggawa ay tutumbasan ng panalangin, lalong magiging mas mabunga ang paggawa. Lalong magiging mas mabunga ang pakikipagtulungan sa isa't isa. My dear brothers and sisters, you may be experiencing right now problems or troubles in your work, in your daily jobs, in whatever you do. Think, maybe you need prayer. Maybe you need to go back to Jesus and ask the Father in prayer in the name of Jesus. Then, your work will become more fruitful, more effective. In this Mass, let us offer all our work, our daily labor to our Lord Jesus Christ so that He could ask the Father for grace for us. Amen. Jesus invites us to make every petition to the Father through Him and guarantees us joy in answer to our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, make our joy complete. Lord, make our joy complete. That the leaders of the Church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our joy, joy complete. complete. That those who hold public office, 
may be given the grace to serve with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our joy complete. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our joy complete. That the sick may find comfort and encouragement from their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our joy complete. That our beloved dead may be brought to the joy and glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our, our joy complete. Father, you always hear us and you grant all we ask through the merits of your Son. May your Spirit abide in us to teach us what we should ask God for and to pour forth your gifts in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifices we offer to your majesty, O Lord, on this feast day of St. Isidore, be effective for our salvation and pleasing to you in your loving kindness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, He has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Isidore, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and, and my, my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the feast day of St. Isidore may bring us an increase of your saving grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now pray our second day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Piety is the honor and reverence given to someone who is in any way responsible for our existence and our well-being. The gift of piety moves our hearts, first of all, to filial honor and reverence for God because He is our Creator and Redeemer. The devotional life of the Church is an expression of our honor and reverence for God and for all that belongs to heaven. Piety also extends to our earthly parents and to all others whom God has placed over us in some way for our spiritual and material good. May the Holy Spirit renew the gift of piety within our hearts and homes our parishes and communities, so that by our example of honor and reverence, we may be a model to others of a life lived in and for God. Let us all together pray. Gracious, Gracious Lord, Lord, 
You have fashioned everything out of nothing, giving life and breath to all that exists. You order everything according to your loving providence and establish the relationships by which our lives are nurtured and ordered. Confirm in us the gift of piety so that by our honor and reverence for you and for those you have given to us, we may bear witness to the working of the Holy Spirit and become instruments of a new Pentecost in our time. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Mary, model of piety. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, <laughs>